So the update operation is used to change the values of one or more attributes in a tuple of some relation R. Here also we need some condition uh, for selecting a particular tuple that is to be modified. See this update employee set D number is equal to 7 where SSN is equal to triple nine double eight double seven double seven okay because here it is not acceptable because d number is equal to seven where ssn is equal to so and so so you have selected a particular tuple with an ssn number and you are trying to update the d number of that employee table to seven which is not in the list of master table your master table is having only 5, 4 and 1. Not such a value of 7 is inside this. So you can't update this attribute value since this is a foreign key. Similarly here update employee set SSN is equal to so and so where SSN is equal to this one. It is also it violates both primary key and referential integrity constraints because SSN is a primary key also. Okay, so you can't do it. So modifying a primary key value is similar to deleting one tuple and inserting another in its place because we use the primary key to identify tuples. But if foreign key attribute is modified, the DBMS must, must make sure that no value refers to an existing tuple in the referenced relation or is null. Okay. So, a referential integrity constraint can be violated when tuples are inserted or deleted or when a foreign key attribute value is modified. The schema designer, that means when you are creating a table or DD using those DDL commands, okay. If a referential integrity constraint is violated upon deletion of a reference tuple or upon modification of a referenced primary key value by attaching a referential triggered action close to any foreign key constraint. That is we have seen in the last example. Okay, so we can attach that referential triggered action using some options. One is you can set it to null or you can cascade it or you can set a default value at the time of table creation itself. Okay, an option must be qualified with either on delete or on update. That is the basic problem we are facing. Okay. So we can attach those options set null, cascade or set default along with the either on delete or on update. Okay. So this is how you create an ordinal constraint. Create table department, department name, not null, department number which is an integer or a number. It is also not null. Then next is manager SSN, manager start date. So these are the four attributes. Here you have uh, given two not null constraints for two attributes here. This is how you create primary key and a unique. Okay. So not null, here not null, primary key which is given in the bracket d number that means this primary key unique constraint and foreign key is defined at table level this not null constraint is defined at a column level that is discussed in la first tutorial video lecture okay so here this is how you given uh, the on delete or on update cascade that means you can change. This is the foreign key here, manager SSN, which is referenced from EMB table. EMB table is having an SSN number that is referred here. 
So when you are trying to delete a particular tuple in the employee relation, on delete that, you can insert a null value in the place of manager SSN here. Okay. That is, for example, here manager SSN is um, this one. Okay. So this tuple, if you are trying to delete this tuple with SSN, triple three double four double five double five okay you are going to delete you are making an operation delete operation on this table employee so there is a chance of constraint violation since this value is used by this um foreign key this is the foreign key here okay hope you got it so this is the manager ssn which is the foreign key that is referred from ssn Clear. So when you are trying to delete this primary key in the employee relation, that will be that will cause a violation here. So at the time of table creation itself, you can set this to on delete of this value in the master table, you can set it to null or a default value you can set a default value for here okay otherwise it causes a violation okay hope you all understand it so look at this command create table emb here also you are using two foreign keys one is the d number and other one is the super assistant Super SSN is referred from that table itself, EMP itself. Okay. So on delete of delete set null, that means when you are trying to delete a particular super SSN in the employee table. Okay. That means if you are trying to delete this tuple see let's take another tuple which is the this one last tuple okay so if you are trying to delete this last tuple triple eight double six double five double five and this value is used to buy the super assistant here that means he is an employee of that company at the same time he is the supervisor of this jennifer okay so when you are trying to delete this there is a chance of who is the supervisor of this person okay or what will be the value of supervisor here okay so either you can set a null value here he doesn't have a supervisor okay or you can set a default value here okay that is the case we have discussed here. And next is similarly on update cascade. Okay. So when you are updating some values, it will be reflected in the uh, detail table also. Okay. So that is in the case of constraints on delete and on update you can put a default value here see this d number references department num department table so on delete of any department number suppose you are deleting department number five from this department table then you can set a default value instead of that five here okay so 5 is deleted from there. So here if we are using that 5 in the employee table, that will be replaced with the default value 1 here. Since you have specified here, this references department, while you are deleting some values from department, set the default value here which you have given along with the column D number. Similarly, on update, it will be propagated in the uh, table also. 
clear so do this in the try it um, sql tool and uh, um, understand what is happening over there another thing is you can give a constraint name okay every time we have to remember essn super ssn d number those are the d number is the primary key of um, uh, department table d number is the foreign key of employee table likewise we can we can't remember it instead of that you can put a constraint name for each constraints you have inserted in the table creation type okay for that you need a constraint keyword keyword constraint along with the keyword constraint you can specify your own name this is a user defined name here for uh, easily remembering i have put here primary key pk underscore department employee okay that means here this is a primary key here we are using department okay so department employee tables are the related tables here and we are using this d number as the primary key here similarly fk foreign key okay this is a user purely user defined name no need to um no any when i'm not forcing you to give like pk fk not like that for easily understanding it is a foreign key we can give it as fk underscore department employee that means we are connecting employee table and a department table okay then you can give on delete set default or uh, whatever on update cascade like that okay that means if you need to drop constraints okay drop constraints we need the drop command okay drop the primary key constraint from department which is the primary key of department this is the primary key okay so that is a primary key so we can we have already given it okay department table so this is the primary key the number is the primary key so when you are telling that to drop this primary key d number okay so we can easily given here alter table department drop primary key next is drop foreign key constraint on super assessor in table emp emp is having a super assessor which is the foreign key you if you need to delete it you simply tell that alter table employee drop constrain super ssn okay instead of super ssn you can specify the constraint name if you have given at the time of table creation okay that means if you have given like fk department emp as the foreign key then you can simply give here drop what fk department emp that is understood okay next uh, suppose you have for good to add a constraint at the time of table creation then you can alter it alter table dependent using add constraint keyword add constraint pk dependent this is the constraint name what is the constraint here primary key inside the bracket essn dependent name okay so this will be affected in the dependent table okay you have newly added a primary key there next is check constraint that is the last constraint so you can give those constraints and their salary is here salary check salary greater than or equal to 20000 so when you are trying to insert values on salary attribute you cannot enter a value below 20000 it will always check the values that is a check constraint thank you hope you all understand this and then try to do this and then if any doubts please call us thank you